Hi guys, it's Christmas Eve, so welcome to the 2019 Christmas special episode. On today's video I'm going to be showing you around the workshop again, um, and a couple of updates for next year. So we'll start with this. This is the new workbench, um, with slats underneath to keep it supported, and this chiselled out bit. Well, not chiselled out, I just sawed it out because I don't have any chisels at the moment. Um, and then the vices are above that. It looks very shiny at the moment because it's got a layer of varnish on. Varnish isn't the best thing to use for a workshop top, but it's what I had, so I used it. Um, we've got some Christmas lights. On the workbench is the pallet with planter because at the moment it's too wet to put that outside, so, and I need to give it a couple of coats of Danish oil. This was sitting on the workbench before um, I put varnish on it. These black lines are where I need to finish where the high spots are on this chopping board, um, so I need to sand off those high spots, so if I do this you can probably see the couple of ridges along it um, that's the first ever chopping board I've made so down here we have the metal working cabinet so I need to design a way to have that a bit higher up I'm probably going to put it on casters or something um, here we got my Christmas tree I made last Christmas I think um, so this was out of some scrap MDF and some Poundland lights and baubles and then I painted the top one yellow this is the bird box um, just waiting for some exterior wood glue to finish that up and then along here we've seen all these bits my sander unfortunately decided to just start excessively vibrating so I was looking at buying a new one um, to replace this um, I'm not sure who makes it I don't think it says oh yeah it does Draper or Draper I don't, can't remember how you say it um, I'm gonna so I needed to get a new one but someone actually gave me this oh there you go so it's a PSM 80A. Um, I used this today on the chopping board. Um, and I've done a bit of work with it and I have to say it's a really, really good quality sander. So that lives under there along with my other power tools and my health and safety equipment. And then this is my sort of like assembly and building table with the um, stag on the top. Um, so yeah, I do a lot of my finishing here and also my marking out. You can see all the little drawings on there as well um, when I'm designing things and then there's just a, some pallet wood sitting along here and bits of wood that are drying out so that's that and then there's Christmas wood there from um, a Nordman tree and then there's two tables there which I use mainly in the summer because uh, I used to have that those two tables as a workbench with a piece of wood across it but this is a much much better workbench um, and I'm really happy with it then we've got the clock and these 3D printed clamps. I'm yet to use these, but I'm going to be building some picture frames. So they'll come into use probably, I don't know, January time. Down here we've got this one here um, with the AstroTurf in as my project box. This one's just general odds and ends that I don't know where to store. And then we've got screws and things along there. And the power supply and then we got a lot of CLS timber along there because that's the only place I can store it and then that's the shop vac so to speak it's the Henry extra hoover um, so yeah that was given to me as well and to be honest pretty good and then I got my built-in dust collection I've got this long hose that pulls out um, so that's the one I use on the workbench I need to sort this out I need to get a um, don't know what you call them, the adapter things, so I can change it from a slightly smaller one to a bigger one so that the end of this can clip on, but I'll probably end up just chopping this um, this bit here, this plastic bit off, and then just jubilee clamping it to this thin, slightly thinner um, piece. And I need to get a smaller jubilee clamp for that because that's miles too big. Up here we've got like toilet roll, um, napkins, paper towel, just all sort of this is really useful for, well, lots of things like removing paint and things. Oh, that's what I use it for mostly. And also if I need to mop up a spillage rather than using kitchen tile, I'll just plonk a load of that down. Up here we've got all my different saws. We've got a um, tenon saw there, that black one, this one here. Um, this was a hacksaw, junior hacksaw I restored. So the handle was broken, so I super glued that back together. Um, and I just, give it a light sanding and a painting. I got this new big first aid kit because health and safety is really important in a workshop. Shelves have moved, they used to be here where the workbench is now. I much prefer the layout I've got now, I've just realised. Um, you won't have seen this yet either. 
So this was something I wanted to do after seeing it on another video. Um, if I remember the video, I'll put it down in the description below. So this, um, I'm just pushing the double-sided tape back down. So this is my paint wall, so if I ever want to know what colour I want to paint something, I can look on here. So I made this by cutting up all the samples. Um, up here, the tools have now moved up here. Um, I'll probably need to put some damping proof membrane or something up along those bits there. There's my lathe um, helmet visor thing. So when I actually get the lathe, I'll be using that. So I've got everything I need now. Up there is just a few bits of rods and down and that kind of stuff. And that corner's PVC pipe. Um, small scraps of it that won't fit in the larger storage. This is my tool wall. Um, I think most of the tools are the same. Might be a couple of new ones. Um, here's my one sash clamp. I'm hoping to get a new one. And then this is the dust extraction for the drill press that's sitting here. I haven't used this, so I really should use it. Um, I haven't used it for ages. And then along here, I've just put this piece of wood here so I can double stack on this long tool shelf. Um, most things the same here. This toolbox has got wood scraps in it. I've got my drill bit organizer that came out of this toolbox that I restored. Um, down there's just some random things, robot arm, and then down there's the, if you can even see that, it's probably too dark. There you go, the engine, and then some nails and stuff. Now I'm gonna start working with pallet wood. I'm not gonna use um, plywood and stuff very much anymore because it's actually not that nice a material to work with compared to working with actual, like, real timber so to speak. I like working with pallet wood, those kind of materials. CLS timber is quite nice to work with. This is the pallet wood with a coat of Danish oil on it. Um, and to be honest that's most of the things in here. If you've got any questions put them in the comments down below. I'll try and reply within the week you put the comment up. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and as I said if you've got any comments post them down in the comment section below. In the description I'll put a list of um, tools I use and what tools I recommend and other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.